Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching the part 2 of the sub series C Ash Containers Panels. In this video, we will talk about the example. So, in the previous video, we learned the basic of C Sharp Panels. So panels or container controls, we learned all these uh, basics in the previous video. Now let's talk about the example. So this is the example we are going to create uh, in this uh, sub-series. So while creating this example, we will also learn uh, different behavior of the panel. So what you are seeing here is the panel container. So in the Windows form application, we will place a panel container. And here you are seeing there is a default label also in the panel container. So by default, during the form design itself, we will place a label which contains the text. This is a design time sample label. So that means the panel container that contains one label inside it. That label is the child and it is contained by the panel container. So when the form is initially displayed, it will display the panel as well as the label its child. So when you click this add label to panel button, uh, we will add a label control to this uh, panel dynamically. So if you click multiple times or uh, let us say that you click it four times means it will create four label. So likewise you can add a number of label by clicking this add label to panel button. So let's assume that this uh, panel container will display uh, a file label and when you keep on clicking this add label to panel button say uh, you click it 15 times that means the panel will not show all 15 labels why because it is a hidden behind uh, the invisible portion of this uh, panel so the add label to panel button will add labels to the uh, above panel control that means uh, it will add the label dynamically to the panel. Similarly, when you click the remove label from panel, um, this action will remove the lastly added label to the panel. Let's say you click the add label button three times. So let's assume that it adds label one, label two, label three to this uh, panel. When you click the remove label from panel button, it will remove the lastly added label that means it will remove label 3 from the panel control so when you place a check mark here dot to top we will dock the panel towards the top of this form that means when you resize the form that means so let's say that you increase the width of the form so when you increase the width of the form the panel also will resize that means uh, since it is sticked to the top um, when the form grows widthwise the panel control also will grow but when you increase the size the panel will not resize but it will retain its uh, position as well as the size so here we are dock, docking the panel to the top. So if you dock the panel towards the left or right, then the time, the size and position will be retained when you resize the form with twice. But if you increase the height, the panel will uh, resize in the uh, vertical direction. All right. So here, when you place a check mark, the panel will be docked, and if you remove the check mark, the panel 
uh, will uh, go to its initial position that means here you are seeing the panel right it will go to that position but when you click dot to top the panel will get attached to the top of the form that means you won't see that gap between the top edge and the panel so here you will study the auto size panel um, so when you click the add label to panel button the labels are get added to the panel and when you keep on adding it uh, since panel uh, height is fixed here uh, some label will go beyond this uh, height so those low labels will not be shown so once you place a check mark hello auto size for panel um, when you add a control and if it goes to the invisible portion the panel will resize so there are two options here you can use grow only that means whatever you are seeing here the panel so that's the initial size when you keep on adding the label to the panel the panel will resize and when you remove uh, the label the panel will shrink but it won't shrink beyond this uh, uh, default unit i mean the beyond this uh, design time height so whatever you are seeing here so the panel will shrink up to this point after that it won't shrink so that's the grow only mode and grow and shrink it will grow as well as shrink it won't respect the uh, design time height that means um, when you keep on removing the label and let's assume that the there is only one label uh, this is design table design time label as well as the dynamically added label then the panel will resize to show only those two labels simply grow only will grow as well as shrink but it won't shrink beyond a certain limit the certain limit is nothing but your uh, uh, initial height during the form design so grow and shrink doesn't have that restriction it will grow and shrink just like how the uh, auto size of the label control work so based on the character you enter inside the label control the label will grow and when you remove the character it will reduce in size right the same way it's a grow and shrink will work so when we start writing the code you will understand what are all the associated properties that can be linked to implement these two features next we will learn auto scrolling support with this uh, section so once you place a check mark on auto scroll uh, the panel control will provide a scrolling capability but if you see when allow auto size for panel is a tick auto scroll won't work so you have to first remove the uh, check mark on the allow auto size that means we should not uh, we should turn off the auto size for the panel then we should enable the scrolling so once we enable the scrolling once you start adding the control and if the control goes beyond this uh, uh, panel visible area then uh, the panel will provide a scroll bar using the scroll bar you can see the added controls which lies in the invisible portion of the panel control here width and height specifies the margin so width will be added towards the right that means it will be added here so the same uh, if i specify width as 30 when you add a control label control here and the width will be here similarly height so using this width and height we can specify the margin uh, right as well as a bottom margin when the control which we add to this panel at runtime uh, goes beyond that margin scroll bar support will be provided so when we write the code we will get more clear idea about this width and height that's all here in this video 
now you will get an idea of what we are going to develop in the next coming sub series thank you for uh, watching bye